Okay, welcome to my newest ministry. This is my 14th ministry, praise the Lord, that he's given me. This is my new channel. This is the old time preaching channel. If you're tired of seeing and listening to preachers on YouTube, on Facebook, in the pulpit of the church you go to, that are fake pastors, that give the kind of uh, sermons that you would see at a supermarket grocery stand, with all of the rag magazines there, like the National Enquirer and all those kind of things. If you're tired of seeing, hearing watered down fluff that's leading the church to hell, then it's time, my friends, to come to this channel and watch, subscribe, so you can get all the updates. I don't know how often I'm going to be doing sermons, maybe every day, maybe twice a day, maybe three times a day, maybe once a week. Whatever the way the Lord leads me, I always follow the Lord's leading. He's the one that I go by. He told me today, make this channel, Paul. He said, you've done as much as you can do right now to warn on other ways. And everything else you have, your work stands, people can watch it. But it's time now to get the word out. And to preach the old time gospel. The way it used to be preached. When people used to fear God. And used to go down to the altar. And used to, I used to go to church every week and I used to run to the altar to repent. Because I knew I was living in sin. I knew I was living a life apart from Jesus Christ because of preachers back in those days used to preach the hell, fire, and brimstone. That's what I'm preaching right now. Today's picture, today's sermon is on the great white throne judgment. All I use is the King James Version Bible, as you will see on the main icon on my channel. I don't use anything else. All the Bibles are inaccurate unless you get an original Greek or Hebrew transcript. And I've got all the scripture to prove it. As always, message me and I'll send it to you. <coughs> the great white throne judgment is going to be horrific. My friends, it's not going to be something that's going to be where there's going to be a bunch of unsaved people that are that are just cowering for their lives. That's going to happen, but it's going to be filled with backslidden Christians, my friends. You got that? Backslidden Christians are going to fill the lines at the great white throne judgment. You see this man standing here? He could be a backslidden Christian. He could be unsaved. Whatever he is, he's there for his final judgment. He's getting ready to be cast into the lake of fire. You know why? Because he refused. To listen to what the Holy Bible says. He refused to listen to what people like me told him. He listened to all of the all the fake fluff pastors out there and all the phonies that taught him lies and told him things that his, his itching ears wanted to hear. That begged for his money. I'm telling you what the Holy Bible says. You either believe it or you don't believe it. If you don't believe it, it's to your own eternal peril, my friends. Let's go to the scripture and see what it says about the great white throne judgment. Revelation 20, verse 11 to 13. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from the faces, from whose face the earth and the heavens fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged, every man according to the their works. Every man according to their works. It doesn't say every unsaved person, every sinner, every man. If, you, if, you, if you're a backslidden Christian, you are no better in God's eyes than someone who's never been saved. I've got 250 scripture all from the King James Version Bible. Message me and I'll send it to you. It says over and over and over and over again that if all Christians do not repent of their sins after they're saved, you got that repent of your sins after you're saved, you won't step foot into heaven. You'll be cast into the lake of fire after you're judged guilty at the great white throne judgment after your name is blotted out from the book of life as Jesus says in the book of Revelation that'll be another video my friends can you imagine standing in this line with a perfect body you see all Christians who are saved the right way who are raptured or who are tribulation saints and make it to heaven later they're all, we're all gonna have praise the Lord perfect bodies we're gonna have hearing we're gonna have a sense of smell a sense of touch a sense of sight Every sense is going to be multiplied probably trillions of times what we have right now. Can you imagine standing in a line with billions and billions and billions and billions of people with perfect eyesight, perfect hearing, and you hear you hear ahead of you, you hear people just begging, saying, No, Jesus, wait, wait, Jesus. I, I, I was going to repent. I really was. Uh, uh, this pastor on YouTube told me I didn't have to repent, or this, this preacher on Facebook or, or my preacher in church told me I don't have to repent. Repent, Jesus is going to say, Away from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. He's going to have to you cast into the lake of fire forever. You're going to be, if you're standing in this line, 
You are judged eternally to damnation, cast into the lake of fire forever. Do you understand that, my friends? Do you understand that? There's no second guessing. There's no second chance. There's no do-over. There's no time out. There's no way to set Jesus. You're going to be there forever. It's so easy. But see, man's pride. Satan, who's the, who's the little G God of most of the church right now, his demons, demonic spirits, run the church because the Holy Spirit's been kicked out because God's been kicked out. God's not going to go anywhere. He's not wanted. God's not going to allow anybody to throw him out of anywhere. He, he's he's, um, he's all-powerful. But he's not going to stay where he's not wanted. You have to understand, my friends, that when God leaves and the Holy Spirit leaves, the little G God, Satan, and his demonic spirits enter. And they tell man. They fill man's hearts with pride. They fill Christians' hearts with pride and make them backslide and turn away from God. I don't care what eternal security pastors tell you. I don't care what once saved, always saved teachers tell you. I'm telling you what the Holy Bible says. And the Holy Bible, and again, message me if you want the proof. If you don't message me and you, and you end up in hell, it's your own fault because I'm willing to give you the proof right from the Bible for you to be able to read. Is anyone willing to take a chance on their eternity? I'm not. See, if I'm wrong, and I'm not because the Bible's always right, but if I'm wrong, praise the Lord, I still get to go to heaven because I'm saved by Jesus Christ's blood. I'm in a win-win situation. I'm in a no-loss situation. But if you, eternal security, want saved, always saved teachers and believers, if you're wrong, you lose everything. You go to hell and then to the lake of fire to burn and torment forever and ever where there'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You think things are bad right now? The worst possible thing you can imagine going on in your life pales in comparison to what the great white throne judgment is going to be. It's time, my friends. It's time to get back to the roots and what little time we have left. The rapture is imminent. Any second of any day, Christ is going to break the skies. God told us those who have a servant would know and see the season. I know we're in the last moments of the season. It's time for old time preaching again. Old fashioned preaching. You need to get back to the word of God. That's what I'm bringing you right now. So you decide for yourself. Are you going to get back to the old time preaching of the word of God? Do you want to come to this channel and hear the truth and fall on your knees and repent? Backslidden Christian and a sinner while there's still a chance? Or risk it all to go to hell and burn in the lake of fire forever. Every video that I do, I have an altar call. I'm going to have one right now. If you're unsaved or if you're a backslider, pray with me right now so you can get right with Jesus Christ while you still have time. None of us are guaranteed even the next second, minute, or hour. Let's pray now before your time runs out. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day. Went back to heaven to be at the right-hand side of the Father. Since that time, you've made a place in heaven for all Christians forever. Please forgive me of my sins. Wash my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. This is a picture of what's going to happen to you after you're judged of the great white throne judgment. You'll be cast into hell, into the lake of fire to burn forever, my friends. I want this picture to be seared in your mind and your memories. After you pray this prayer that I just gave you, Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. And when you get saved, get you a King James Version Bible. It's the living, breathing Word of God where you feed your body with food and water every day. This Bible feeds your spirit and soul if you read it daily. Pray to Jesus every day. He loves you. He's your new best friend. wants to talk with you every day. Get water baptized. Dunked under water as soon as possible. If you were sprinkled baptized in the past, it don't count, my friends. Do it over again. Pray be filled with the Holy Spirit, sanctified from head to toe by living for Christ, by praying, by reading the Bible. Take that King James Version Bible to church. And when the preacher speaks, make sure it matches your Bible. If not, get up and walk out. And lastly, repent, 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 repent. Every time you sin after you're saved, repent. If you want to step foot into heaven, if you want to be raptured. If you'd like me to pray for you, for anything, from terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me. I have the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. I didn't earn or deserve it when I prayed for it, he gave it to me. And I've seen thousands and thousands of miracles in my ministries, my friends. All from the hand of God, all by His glory. I've prayed for people. He's answered those prayers because of Him. Nothing to do with me. I'm the least in His kingdom, a tiny fish in the huge ocean, a slave for Jesus Christ. Message me if you want prayer. Let's get out there, my friends, and pray for the lost every day. Witness to them every day while we still have time, Christians. Time is running out. I love you guys. That's why I do this. I don't want to see anybody die and go to hell and burn in hell forever with a living, perfect, perfect eternal body. My prayer and next steps are down in the description of the, of the video below the video title. I know I talk fast. I can't help it. the way the Lord made me. I love you guys. I'm excited about this new channel. It's time to wake up, Christians, and get ready. Your time is short. May God bless you. Have a blessed day. Goodbye.